What's up guys, JR Raymond back again, coming to you from Bowler X Pro Shop and Training Center inside Waterford Lanes, where today we're actually, we're gonna take out that new archetype. I think it's the archetype hybrid. Uh, we're gonna take it out here. I got a 39 foot sport condition, so it's not gonna, you're not gonna see it the same as what you want on a league pattern. I do have a league pattern over here on 39 as well. So we may throw some shots on the left lane as well as the right lane, but we'll start on the 39 foot sport pattern because we're getting ready for the masters. So I wanted to practice on that a little bit. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, I got the typical, this one is 45 by four and a half by 45. So I'm gonna take it out here on that 35 foot or 39 foot pattern. And we're gonna see what it's got here in a minute. So stay tuned. They say bowling is a dying sport. A dying sport. <laughs> I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. BowlerX.com for the love of bowling. A few moments later. All right, here we go. So I've got the uh, the archetype, the new archetype here. Pretty blue one. We got that typical pin up above my bridge layout on this thing. And we are using the new camera where I have the the following action. I don't have a camera person. I actually just have a, uh, a Garmin that is, it stabilizes and then it tracks me uh, while I bowl. So you'll be able to see me throughout the whole time, hopefully, as long as this thing doesn't fail on me. But um, we're also going to have the camera set up so you can see the lane view, of course. You don't want to just see it like this. So here we go. We're going to start a little bit straighter, just like we normally do, right around that 9, 10, 11 ish range. Now again, remember this is this is a sport pattern. This is not the league pattern, so probably a little easier to get the ball to float through there on this pattern. And I'll be I'll be honest with you, I bowled a doubles regional, um, and I used this ball a little bit. It was a lot slower. Excuse me, a lot slower, meaning more arky, not as quick, not as snappy on the off the pattern. Uh, as it is when it's used on a league pattern. So you'll probably see it be a little bit quicker today. All right, we're moving five left. Still looks pretty good, but you can see how much that kind of, it whips a little bit. It really gets going, kind of makes, I don't want to call it hook stop, but it really gets going off of the friction. So we're going to just keep moving left. DC, the owner here, says this pattern is basically all the oil to the outside and none to the middle, so like a reverse block. So as I go left, it's probably not going to look good on this, but that's okay. We're going to try anyway. All right, five more left, which means we're standing on 30. We're going to be looking at now 16, 17, 18 area. Always draw a three board area. And we stone an eight pin. All right. That's not fun. You're a big beanie face. But it still looks pretty good. I ain't gonna lie. So far, three for three, shot wise, motion wise. Dr. Greg, Dr. G, before I even drilled this, said, You're gonna love this ball. This is gonna be one that you use all the time. So, he might be right. I don't know. So far, so good. I did like the original archetype for a solid bowling ball, it was super clean. It did a pretty good job getting down lane for a ball that was pretty strong. Ooh, trip four. Chicks, dig them. So, again, so you can definitely see there as we got to the middle part of the lane, they're drier in there. So the ball's struggling to get to the right, but it still is doing the right thing. It's still seeing the middle of the pattern really nice, nice and kind of rolling off of it. It's a little bit quicker than I would like, but this would be one of those situations where this is a ball that I would use in transition. Once the lanes start to get a little bit muddy, a little bit slower, your ball reaction starts to get a little too blah, you go to something like this that is a little bit quicker response time, 
and it can make up for whatever that ball was that you were using before. Maybe that ball you were using before started to be too slow, started to hook a little bit too, too early, uh, and was too slow and too rounded. So then you have to get to something that's just a pinch cleaner, a little bit quicker to make up for the lack of motion you were seeing there. That doesn't mean you're looking for a ball that's gonna be skid flip. You know, you never wanna go to a ball that's gonna be skid flip. You go to a ball based on what the lane is telling you to do. And if the lane is telling you that they're tight down lane and they're getting really slow, and you need a quicker response ball, that's what you do. So, all right, here we go. Now we are standing on 40. We're probably going to hit that 21, 22 range. I'm really not rotating it much. I'm still rolling it pretty good. And it's doing exactly what I want. So basically throughout this whole pattern, I'm able to bake the ball, do whatever I want. And because it's a flatter pattern, it's not a ton of oil in the middle and none to the outside. When I move left, I don't feel like I have to start rotating my hand around it and spinning it to get the ball to, to pick up, to get it to make motion down lane or to do anything extra. I can keep rolling it and just let the ball do what it's designed to do. Now let's get up against the ball return. So far, so good with this tracker. I think I like it. Tell me what you think in the comments. Is this uh, a little bit a cool added to the, to the videos? I got you, homie. Oh, we're tripping fours like it's our job. I love it. I love it. Y'all know how much I love trip fours. That's why I'm such a big fan of Pat Dombrowski, because he's constantly posting videos of the trip four. So he's the best at it. He gets his ball rolling so forward. He trips so many four pins, it's unreal. So here we go. We were up against the ball return. Now let's see if we can get in front of the ball return and see what she does. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> we go on Brooklyn. We go on Brooklyn. I got it. See how easy it is to go Brooklyn once you get that far left? Give Boog some slack. <laughs> it's very easy to go Brooklyn when you're on a flatter pattern and you're that far left. You cut it short a little bit. She gone. All right, we're trying that again. That was awful. I'm only rotating it a little bit. A little better. A little better. That's three trip fours in one video. Like, does it get any better than that? Ladies and gentlemen, this ball will be in the link in the description. I'm going to put it down below for you. So make sure to get yours over there. It's at bowlerx.com. They'll get you one. More than likely, it'll be like the next day delivery. They're really good at what they do. So make sure to get one in the link in the description. I personally, I think this ball's I've got to come up with six more balls to take with me to the Masters. And I just drilled a, a Primal Shock and a new Pride Dynasty specifically for that event. So those are two filling up that spot already. I have four spots to fill. No, I don't. I've got three spots to fill because I've got my red IQ 78 that has to go with me. It doubles as a spare ball and if urethane's in play. So, mm, man, I already have six there. I'm taking six with me. I've got three balls to fill. Will this ball make the bag? Comment below. Tell me what you think. Make sure to hit the link in the description and get yours today. But until next time, guys, I'm out of here. We'll see you guys later. Take care.